In this video, we are going to learn the most common types of information systems used in different levels of an organization. They are the Transaction Processing System, or TPS, Management Information System, or MIS, and Decision Support System, or DSS. Although these systems are commonly discussed separately, they are often integrated in one product and delivered by the same software package. Let's begin discussing TPS. It is an organized collection of people, procedures, software, databases, and devices used to perform and record business transactions. The term transaction in TPS is defined as any business-related exchange of goods, services, or money, such as payments to employees, sales to customers, payments to suppliers, or cash withdrawn from an ATM. These systems serve the organization's operational level. This level is composed of employees who are at the bottom level of the organization's hierarchy. Examples of users at this level include cashiers at a point of sale, bank tellers, nurses in a hospital, and other positions concerned with performing day-to-day -day business transactions of an organization. A TPS collects input data from transactions and events which are recorded by operational level employees. It is responsible for sorting, listing, merging, updating, storing, modifying, and retrieving data pertaining to the transactions that have taken place in an organization. And finally, generate detailed reports, lists, and summaries which are used by other levels of management. An example of TPS is a payroll system. The primary inputs for a payroll TPS are the number of employee hours worked during the week and the pay rate. The primary output consists of paychecks. Payroll systems produce employee paychecks and related reports for the organization's management and documents required by government agencies. Another example is an online transaction processing reservation systems used by airlines and travel agencies. These systems enable travelers to select and book their own flights. Through these systems, passengers can choose their destinations and flight dates, compare costs on alternate flight dates, book their seats, and generate electronic tickets. The system is used to record each sale transaction which takes place on the website. At the end of the day, it can generate a report of all transactions in order to view which seats have been sold. There are basically two types of transaction processing systems. First is the batch processing TPS. Here, the processing of transactions takes place over batches, which means transactions are collected, combined, and grouped in batches. It generally follows the first-in, first-out method, and there is usually a time delay in this type of processing. The second is called real-time processing TPS. Under real-time processing, every single transaction is processed with immediate effect and provides instant verification of it. There is no time delay and systems can be accessed remotely and over the cloud. Let's have an example for each type of processing. It is batch processing when a company processes the payroll of its employees in bi-weekly manner that processes batches of employees' salaries over a span of two weeks. In a hotel reservation, it is extremely useful for customers to have an instant verification of their request. Therefore, this is an example of real-time processing. Our next type of system to discuss is called Management Information System, or MIS. It is an organized collection of people, procedures, software, databases, and devices that provides routine information to managers and decision makers. Management information systems are usually used at the tactical level. This level includes employees who are at the middle of the organization's management hierarchy. It typically collects data and information generated from the TPS to provide routine, summary, and exception reports. This type of system is important in an organization as it provides information that is essential to operations, management, and decision-making functions. An example of an MIS is a university student management information system, which can be used to generate reports about the registration status of the students in order to determine who's eligible to sit for the end of semester examinations. We now know that a TPS records data and generates detailed reports, while an MIS can consolidate those data and information to generate routine, summary, and exception reports. Let's use modern library systems as an example to show the difference between these two in terms of their functions. The TPS in library systems is used by library patrons to locate books, used by librarians to manage transactions as books are checked in and out. 
On the other hand, the MIS in library system is used by librarians to request and analyze reports, such as summary reports that indicate how many books are checked out and exception reports that list long overdue books. TPS and MIS are still being used today, but increasingly, companies are experiencing information silos, an isolated information system that is not easily capable of exchanging information with other information systems is called information silo. The silo mentality is a way of thinking that occurs when groups of people do not share information, goals, tools, priorities, and processes with other departments. With this, more organizations have begun turning to Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP systems. An Enterprise Resource Planning system is a set of integrated programs that manages the vital business operations for an entire organization. It can replace many applications with one unified set of programs, making the system easier to use and more effective. It is used to support organizations' routine business processes, maintain records about those processes, and provide extensive reporting and data analysis capabilities. These systems use a database of key operational and planning data that can be shared by all employees across all organizational units and when appropriate with customers and suppliers. Last, but definitely not the least type of information system that we will talk about is called Decision Support System or DSS. It is an organized collection of people, procedures, software, databases, and devices that support problem-specific decision-making. Decision Support Systems use input from internal systems, which are the TPS and MIS, and external systems. They are commonly used by senior management to make non-routine decisions and to provide solutions to problems that are unique and change frequently. An example of DSS is a bank loan management system. It is used to verify the credit of the loan applicant and predict the likelihood of the loan being recovered. The focus of a DSS is on making effective decisions. To differentiate it from MIS, remember that MIS helps an organization do things right while a DSS helps a manager do the right thing. Let's use Subway, an American fast food restaurant franchise that primarily sells submarine sandwiches, salads, and beverages to see the importance of DSS in a business. Subway uses a DSS to evaluate various initiatives such as implementing bundle meal offers and price promotions. The DSS is able to predict what impact the initiative will have on revenues, profits, and market share. It can also help to design a rollout program that maximizes returns. In addition to DSS for managers, other systems use the same approach to support executives, which is called Executive Support Systems, or ESS. An example of an ESS is a system which can be used for sales forecasting that is useful to people who are at the topmost level of the organization's management hierarchy to make better decisions. This level is composed of the firm's president, vice presidents, and members of the board of directors. To summarize, the TPS records daily routine transactions in an organization. With this, it becomes the major source of data for other systems in an organization. Since they record every transaction, it aids in monitoring the status of the operations and therefore helps in structured decision making. This means that they have defined rules that guide them while making decisions. MIS usually receive and utilize the data they get from the TPS. The reports generated in the system is used by middle-level managers to make semi-structured decisions, which are partly based on set guidelines and judgmental calls. DSS is a major recipient of data from the lower-level systems, which is mainly used by senior managers in unstructured decision-making that concerns with the long-term planning of the organization.